What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown and I am back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Last time we kept on doing the covert ops to unlock Moon Knight. And last time we had to research the holographic shield after beating up some Hydra goons. It's done. That looks like a hologram generator. A little subtle for Hydra. I mean, holograms can't really hurt one. Ah, but this one can. It creates an actual hollow barrier, a kind of hard light that... Actually, I'm pretty sure I just heard the gears in Coulson's head grinding to a halt. So let's wait on the uh, diffraction physics lessons. Anyways, it's yours now, Agent. Yay. Whoever our vigilante pal is, he struck again. Still targeting Hydra? No, this time it's just regular street punks. Jacked up, I sewed out street punks, but not Hydra material. Who did it this time? The Beagle is saying it's our friendly neighborhood web slinger. But that's what they always say. So pretending, someone pretending to be Captain America, Wolverine, and Spider-Man? Ambitious, right? There we go. I had something stuck in my tooth. It needed to come out. We need to make contact with the local street thugs and find out for ourselves. Yeah, I got to beat 10 street thugs. They can be found in Chapter 2. Mission 5. I'm still tired. I don't want to be up. Yeah, that's my shield points that I don't need because I have like 600 of them. I probably need them now that everyone can get a level 13, though. This is a good place to start. Five street punks right here. Hawkeye and Mockingbird. I don't think I've actually used Mockingbird before. <sighs> ah, the first Spec Ops character ever. Good and fond memories of her being OP as hell. Let's pinpoint him. And hit all three of them. Or hit both. Whatever. Both three, psh, same thing. So anyways, as you saw, that was Mockingbird's special ability. Mockingbird starts as a generalist, but she has mock combat. When attacked, she changes classes to the attacker's counterclass. It's not triggered by counter attacks. Anyways, as I was saying, she also gets tactical insight. She has a 50% chance to gain an extra turn when changing classes. This effect only happens once per round, which it did happen, so now she has two turns. Her skills vary as this. She has Twin Strike, which is deadly crits, and causes pressure points. Has a chance to cause Dizzy Exposed, Slowed, or Weakened. Ball Vault has a 60% chance to stun and adds combo setup. Critical Intel is quick action. It causes weak point and critical intel. Grants 
Mockingbird critical intel Mockingbird changes to her target's counterclass before attacking. And finally, what used to be the most broken weapon attack in the game, the Mocking Blow. That was before they changed Paragon Exploiter. Paragon Exploiter used to exploit all different kinds of things other than the uh, ones you see on here. It used to exploit fire, cold, all those other fun stuff. So if you wanted to kill someone with just one Crippler, Mocking Blow, 20,000 damage. And I shit you not, people have actually done that, making about like... 100,000 damage with Mockingbird. She was broken. Madness. Madness. This is... Yeah. <coughs> I still think now she's pretty good. <laughs> She can still cause some major damage if she's set up enough for it. Let's go ahead and use Captain Britain. And magic, because I don't think I've shown those too off. Especially now since magic is currently available all the time now. She was a spec ops hero, now she's available. Anyways, magic. As the ruler of Limbo, she has a chance when attacking or attack to summon eye bites. These come in two versions, one that will shoot a laser beam at an individual target, or a group of them that will attack all enemies and cause poison. As she is constantly in her Phoenix Vibe outfit, she gains Phoenix Potential, Fiery Retribution. Allies have a chance to unleash Phoenix Power each turn. Deals additional fire damage to enemies when attacking or attacked. As for her moves... Her Soul Sword gains Ethereal Strike, which avoids, uh, ignores avoidance and incorporal effects. It applies Bane, which means takes additional magic damage. Which would be good for her, since I think most of her abilities count as magic. Stepping Razor, she has a high chance to avoid one attack and counter attack with Stepping Disc. And Soul Charge increases magic's chance to summon Eye Bites, unlocks the potential of magic magic's abilities. It can be applied two times. Soul Charge is a thing you will notice with the rest of these. Okay, Unleash Hell is catastrophic. It causes Death Frost every... causes Death Frost. And with one Soul Charge, it applies Soul Fire. With two Soul Charges, it applies Dark Void as well. Soul Flare ignores, def ignores Defense. Melts Armor. With a Soul Charge, it becomes a Paragon Exploiter. With Full Charge, it becomes Exploit Adoration. Okay, so Exploit Adoration is what Paragon Exploiter used to be. Where it exploits Chill, Dark Void, Iso... Okay. That's what Exploit Adoration is. I knew, uh... One of Doctor Strange's Empowered Iso 8s gets the power for that, but I didn't know what it was. Stepping disc is guaranteed is a 100% chance to guarantee to hit. Usually, it's stealthy, ethereal strikes, and gauze pressure points. And with soul charge, increases magic's chance to summon and applies soul charge. Okay, that's different. Guess they've changed her. It used to be like uh, if it had a full, she could stun someone. Guess they got rid of that. I'm hoping to get around to a uh, Captain Britain before I kill everyone. And there we go, we see my fiery retribution just kicked in. Go 
because it's just some simple fire. Anyways, Captain Britain here. He gets Roar of Valor, which increases all stats, a chance to take reduced damage and stacks up to three times. He's flying, so he's immune to ground attacks. And the Lion of Avalon, he gains Roar of Valor and restores health each time an enemy dies. He loses Roar of Valor each time an ally dies. Hair to the Underworld, a chance to gain an extra turn and Roar of Valor after attacking a target with Dizzy Slow, slowed, exposed, or weakened. Attacks, attacking targets with all four effects causes Curse of the Underworld. I believe Curse of the Underworld, it, uh, everyone gets a chance to get an extra turn when they attack. So anyways, most of his attacks have the four things he needs. Right, his might causes weakened and dizzy. <coughs> and I could go for a drink. Save the Queen exploits flying, it causes exposed. Bashing is a ground attack, so it ignores most protect and avoidance effects. 40% chance to sun and stun and causes slow. So let's go with that. Actually, before we start this, I'm going to go get a drink, so I'll be right back. And I'm back. So let's get our hero set up for this next round. We're going to fight Bruisers. Get Bane. Okay, okay I was going to use Storm. I guess not. Let's go Phoenix then. Let's have two characters that hold the power of life and death. is just under or just above 30% or else Thane would have killed him right there. And there's the final three I need. Just because I know I haven't used him at all. So the thing. <clears throat> Bruiser. I should probably edit his ISO sometime in the future. 
Anyways, with interlocking stones, he's immune to bleeding, burning, chilled, and very high grip resistance. That's all he gets. Added from his suit, he has the future foundation suit, so he gets share the future. He grants tough guy to all teammates. Tough guy increases defense when attacked. Future countdown, grants future countdown when two future foundation members, which I do have. Technically, Human Torch is a Nihilus gets a future countdown. To first attacks, he gets clobbering time, which exploits slow, exploits combos, and causes staggered. Stone Wall protects allies from single target attacks. It serves, absorbs a certain amount of damage, grants an extra turn in stamina when attacked, can't dodge while active. Fault Line is a ground attack, so it ignores most protect and advent avoidance effects and causes slow. Gizmo Sandwich has a chance to stun. Future Countdown. That'll still take a few turns, and I think it may be all dead by the time I get it. Payback time. Keep doing this until they're all dead. And Fantastic Four for the win. That should be all ten of the guys we have to beat down. I keep a careful inventory of all the thugs I beat the snot out of. And I can tell you, those guys aren't mine. It's nice work, though. Things are getting complicated. Make sure you have adequate backup on call. I like three distress calls. Okay. One. Three. Here's an idea. If there's new thugs running amok, we probably should be thinking about the hood, right? He's like king of the thugs. I could drop by a stately hood manor and ask him. Go ahead, but he's not really the type to just air out all of his plans, so you can marvel at his diabolical brilliance. Brilliance. I'll ask nicely, but firmly. Defeat the Hood. He is the master of chapter this place, which is why I'm also here. And why I was actually putting forth to deploy. Let's get the Scarlet Witch. I probably really need to level her up. Or no, let's get Rogue.
I just go? I stunned him too. I'll take care of one of his moves. Oh, you didn't shoot me. I was so hoping you'd shoot me so I could just pound your face in. Don't worry, Blue Cage knows how to do it too, though. God bless that scroll. <laughs> that takes care of Hood, and now Rogue can take care of Hydro Man. Can't guess what I get to go to now. Seriously, I don't need any more command points. I'm good on those. I'm guessing you ordered that. What's this thing? One more broken gadget. Oh man, what's that gunk all over it? Don't touch it without a hazmat suit. That looks familiar. Let me see that. <laughs> Everybody else is concerned about it. What does Spider-Man do? Here, yeah, let me see. I'll, I'll tinker with it. Yeah, now I get to go research the stupid web uh, slinger. Another 16 hours more of waiting, so I guess next time we'll finish this all up. You know what? No, no. I'm just going to tack the end of this onto this video, so I'll see you then. And we're back! And... <coughs> <coughs> and I made the mistake again of not getting something to drink and working out my vocals before recording. Anyways, it's a brand new day. Research is over. Let's get this over with. I want my Moon Knight. Yay, I got the Wrist Slinger! <laughs> not bad for an amateur. I mean, they're not as good as mine, but they might come in handy for someone without my special gifts. You want them, Agent? Woo! Okay, I'm tired of playing games with you. How many clues do I have to leave before you figure it out? <laughs> Don't give, give yourself too much credit, Ace. We had you pegged from the beginning. Tell your subs that if it makes you feel better. Right now I've got more important things to do, and I could use a little extra firepower. Drop the vigilante routine. Stand with us, and we'll provide more firepower and resources than you can handle. Boy, things are looking up. Just when we're besieged by an apocalyptic assassin cult and colliding alternate Earths, we ask a bona fide lunatic to join the team. Stark, if I, if I called every misfit with a grudge out of shield, there wouldn't be much left. Yay! We can now purchase Moon Knight. God, let's go do this.
Uh, what is this? I've been tinkering with this, with the sad little claw, hollow barrier, and web gadgets we found, and because I'm a genius, I have made genius improvements. Now there's a way to take all three of these doodads and integrate them into a single armature, like so. AJ, hey, want to give it a try? Research the Vigilante Toolkit. Which looks like all three items in one. Uh, sure, since I don't have anything better to do, I might as well. This takes two days. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> Anyways, let's go recruit us a Moon Knight. Fighting evil by Moon Knight. <clears throat> Having my voice cracked by daylight. Gonna punch some people in the face. He is the one called Moon Knight. Let's do this. Damn. Moon Knight recruited. People ask me how I can live like this. The risks, the madness, the constant fighting. I think we understand each other, Agent. There's no other way to live. So that's Moon Knight. So he is a generalist. <laughs> now we get into the construction of him. He starts with the buffs the White Knight. He gains retribution when an ally is attacked. And Lunar Lunatic. Chance to gain a new personality every round. He changes Moon Knight's classes. Class. Counterattacks and abilities. By the way, for those of you not familiar, Mark Spector was brought back to life by Khonshu, Egyptian god of vengeance on the moon, to be an avatar of justice. At least that's what Mark claims, leading multiple lives and guilt over mercenary past having fractured his sanity on several occasions. What is undeniable is that his skills at martial arts, marksmanship, and crime solving make Moon Knight a formidable crusader against evil. Basically, he's crazy! But, as we see here, he gets Fist of Khonshu. Which is Fists of Fury. Number of hits depends on retribution. Consumes all retribution when used. The Crescent darts cause impaired pain and is a quick action if Moon Knight has retribution. Tripwire Tackle. It's stealthy. 40% chance to stun. Causes off balance and consumes one retribution. Finally, Blood Moon. Causes hemorrhaging. Causes bleeding. Causes ravaged and increases retribution by one. Now the other thing it's talking about, since he dropped down the other thing, the uh, other items to give a hint, his class can change into one of three. He can take on the persona of Wolverine and become a scrapper, which I believe increases Blood Moon. Each one of his personalities increases one of his attacks, and I can't for the life of me remember them, and they are not mentioned in his list, which sucks. Of course, he can become a tactician and become Captain America. He can become an infiltrator and become Spider-Man. Spider-Man, I believe, benefits from the tripwire tackle. But that's Moon Knight. I can't wait to get started using him. In fact, let's say we go test him out. See if I have one mission. Uh, let's go run just a quick and simple mission. Fighting evil by Moon Knight. Fighting evil with Moon Knight. <laughs> Breaking faces in. I don't know. <sighs> he will never run. I don't know. Now I'm just making up lyrics. The one called Moon Knight. Conshu Persona. Fast changes to generalist retribution increases damage of Moon Knight's attacks. Moon Knight's follow-ups or counter-attacks are replaced by Moonlight. Moonlight gives a full stack of rep rep retribution and an extra turn to Moon Knight. Wow.
One retribution. Damn, he didn't survive. <laughs> oh well. He looks pretty good so far. I'm pretty sure we'll see more of him when the next Spec Ops rolls around. And I have him at level 9. So until then, I guess I'll catch you all later. Asta.